A huge invisible danger zone is hanging above Earth, messing with satellites, zapping electronics, and giving astronauts a headache. Scientists call it the South Atlantic Anomaly, and it's kind of like the Bermuda Triangle of space, because weird stuff happens there and nobody fully understands why. Want to know more about this thing? Well, Earth has a magnetic field that protects us from dangerous radiation from the Sun. We'll talk about it later. And over one spot on the planet right above the South Atlantic Ocean, that shield gets weirdly weak. It stretches over South America and parts of Africa, creating a sort of magnetic soft spot. That weak spot is bad news for anything flying up there. When satellites travel through it, their systems can freak out. Computers freeze, data gets scrambled, and sometimes entire instruments shut down. Basically, the space version of your phone glitching out right when you need it most. Astronauts have to be extra careful in this region too. When the International Space Station passes through the anomaly, radiation levels spike. It's not enough to fry anyone, but it's surely not fun. The equipment can take a serious hit. No one knows exactly what's going on yet. But scientists think the SAA might be a clue that Earth's magnetic field is shifting. If that's true, it could mean big changes for the future, for us all. You see, the South Atlantic anomaly is connected to Earth's molten insides. Deep beneath the surface, the planet's core and mantle are constantly moving, flowing, and clashing. The outer core is a swirling ocean of liquid metal and the mantle above is hot, solid rock. Under Africa, there's nothing to cool things down. The mantle is hotter than usual, which creates certain instability in the magnetic field above. As for South America, there, the Nazca plate is dragging rock and debris down toward the core. This cools things off and keeps the field more stable. Such a wild temperature difference seems to be fueling the anomaly. According to some sources, it drives it across the Atlantic. The anomaly is slowly drifting westward. The thing is, Earth's magnetic field protects us from dangerous radiation from space, powerful solar winds, and wild swings in temperature, and keeps our atmosphere in check. But over millions of years, the magnetic poles have flipped. When it happens, north becomes south, south becomes north. And during those flips, the field can weaken. And some scientists thought the South Atlantic anomaly might be a warning sign before a full magnetic reversal. It could mean disaster to humans, but we'll talk about it later. The good news is, these flips take over. On average, Earth flips its magnetic poles about two times per million years. That means the next reversal could be hundreds of thousands of years away. Nearly 600 million years ago, our planet's shield almost failed, but at that time, it could have been a good thing. Scientists think this near collapse might have triggered a massive evolutionary boost and helped the first complex life forms to evolve. Back then, during a period called the Ediacaran, the magnetic field weakened drastically and stayed that weak for about 26 million years. With less protection, solar radiation removed lighter gases from the atmosphere, leaving oxygen floating freely in the air and oceans. That oxygen helped the first multicellular oxygen-breathing organisms to see the light of day. Those were strange, squishy creatures that hardly resembled animals today. Some were disc-shaped blobs, fronds, or shapeless fans stretching over three feet long. By the way, one of the earliest known animals, Dickinsonia, was among them. It looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? Now, how do we know all this? Thanks to rocks. They're like time capsules. Tiny crystals inside them preserve the power of the magnetic field from hundreds of thousands of years ago. For example, certain crystals from southern Brazil revealed that 591 million years ago, Earth's magnetic field was 30 times weaker than it is now, and rocks from South Africa dating back 2 billion years showed that the field was at full strength back then. Now, let's explore a bit. 
Deep beneath our feet, there's Earth's inner core. We're used to thinking about it as a perfect solid ball, but new research suggests it might be changing shape. Over the past 20 years, parts of the inner core may have bulged or dipped by more than 300 feet. That's like a skyscraper popping up or sinking deep underground inside the planet. This core spins independently from the outer liquid core, which creates the magnetic field that shields us from dangerous solar radiation. The magnetosphere is non-negotiable. Without it, Earth would lose its atmosphere over time. Water would vanish, and life as we know it wouldn't survive. It basically keeps the planet alive. Without it, Earth could turn into a barren Mars, which lost its magnetic field billions of years ago, and along with it, almost all its atmosphere. So why is our planet's inner core deforming? It seems to happen where the solid inner core meets the super-hot liquid outer core. The molten metal flows around it, and combined with the tug of an uneven gravity field, likely warps its edges. Scientists can't drill down to the core to check this theory. It's 3,200 miles below the surface. But they can track seismic waves from earthquakes as they ripple through Earth. They measure how these shock waves bend, slow down, or speed up, and it can help figure out what the inner core is made of and how it moves. That's probably how they know that the solid inner core is slowly growing, freezing layer by layer of the liquid outer core. But don't worry, it'll take billions of years to fully solidify. By that point, life on Earth would probably already be gone anyway. The sun's gonna swallow our planet long before the inner core stops moving. But let's get back to the topic that I bet worries you most. What if Earth's magnetic field just vanished one day? Well, the planet would be hit by a storm of charged particles from the sun. Satellites would start glitching and power grids would go down. We would get zapped with higher levels of UV radiation, the kind that can cause all kinds of serious health issues. In short, it wouldn't be instant doom, but life would get a lot trickier. Luckily, now we know that a magnetic field doesn't just vanish overnight, but ours has been slowly weakening for over a century. So what would life on a planet with a super weak magnetic field look like? You would just have to throw away your compass. It wouldn't point north anymore, just towards the nearest patch of strongest magnetism, wherever that may be. The northern and southern lights would go insane, appearing closer to the equator, all because charged solar particles would be able to get through the atmosphere more easily. Satellites would be under constant attack. Solar particles would fry their electronics, mess with memory, and cause what scientists call single-event upsets. High-frequency radio signals would also get scrambled, thanks to free electrons in the ionosphere. Over time, the solar wind could even start wearing down the ozone layer leaving us all more exposed to UV radiation. Now, let's decrease the level of drama. A magnetic field isn't the only thing keeping a planet alive. Mars did lose its magnetic shield about 4 billion years ago, and most of its atmosphere got blown away. But Venus has no global magnetic field, but still has a thick atmosphere. If Earth lost its magnetic field completely, we wouldn't instantly vanish. But life would definitely change, and we would have to get used to these drastic changes. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.